On board a deep submersible not only requires physical endurance but also mental strength and being confined to a tiny space for hours will test the limits of the body and mind. So what kind of crew does it take to complete such a mission to the deepest parts of the sea? Su Yuting explains about the chief pilot of China's Jialong Deep Submersible and how he copes with that stress. Diving to the deepest depth of the ocean is no easy journey. This is the mothership of China's most advanced deep sea submersible Jialong. The vessel will help Jialong and its crew carry out their scientific exploration. But the mothership has passed its prime, having been designed and built more than three decades ago. Space on the ship and its carrying capacity are limited. Living conditions on board might not be the best for crew members. Crew members have to rely on themselves to make sure they're in good health to overcome difficulties ahead. There are 96 crew members, eight of them are divers. Ye Tong is the chief pilot. His living conditions on board are the same as his crew. I thought there are some special arrangement for test pilots, but the room is no different from others. There is limited room in the mothership. It's big enough for us three to live in such a room which can accommodate four people. As the chief pilot, Ye Tong attended nearly every diving test. The safety of the submersible is closely related to the quality of his health. Diving into the deep sea consumes a lot of physical energy. Ensuring some sleep is a foundation to secure a good condition for me to make a test dive. Ye Tong has lived in every room in this ship in the past four years. There was no window curtain before, but now we have this kind of blind to protect our privacy. This room is good. When I get rest, others also keep quiet. Living conditions on board are not perfect, but Ye Tong has his own way to make himself more energetic. Habitability and motivation play a big part. After crew member makes a new hairstyle for him, Ye Tong rushes to his office to work with his colleague to weigh the ballast iron for the first dive. Thanks to special software, the weight of the iron strap can be calculated and adjusted to actual buoyancy. Every time when crew members dive into the water aboard the submersible, they have to stay in an enclosed space of just 4.8 square meters for several or even a dozen hours. For ordinary people, this could be unbearable. But for Jiao Long's crew members, keeping calm and possessing strong physical endurance are crucial to ensure a successful dive. Su Yuting, CCTV. Now we can take you back there to the scene of the uh, resurfacing of the manned submersible, the Jiao And uh, it's, of course, coming back to the mothership now. We hope to be able to speak to our reporter, Sun Yan, who was there, and we'll keep in touch uh, with that. But um, the deep sea dive, as we've been telling you, is the latest in a series of technological milestones that uh, are including China's first manned space docking, about to happen in a few days. The submersible Jialong arrived at the designated area in the Pacific aboard the Chinese ship that it's now being hoisted back onto in June. And uh, the aim, of course, to reach that depth of 7,000 meters in the trench. Some people may uh, have wondered what uh, the vessel is named after, but it is after the dragon from Chinese mythology.